Okay, guys, look what we have here. It's a GTO, I believe, 65 through 67 model. And uh, if you know exactly, let me know in the comments down below. But this, I did one here before, but it's been a while. And I, I don't always get to see one this clean. And I believe this is a rebuild. And if it is, this thing is beautiful, man. Look at the chrome bumpers. Look at the headlights, the GTO sign. Everything on here is really, really nice. I mean, you can't complain about this one, man. This thing is clean. And if it's the right motor in here with the triple uh, dual carbs in here, that makes it even more better, man, because I saw one in Michigan and he had, got, had that thing open and it was very, very intimidating to see that guy take over. Uh, let's take a look at this right up close. It's a GTO 6.5 liter. So this thing here, if it's the original motor in there, yeah, you would have that one, two, three carb set up with dual carbs, the two barrels. That's what made these things fly, man. Them sit that six pack style type of uh, carburation to make this thing go, you know? And General Motors really put their all into these things, man, back in the day. These GTOs, man, they were bad. They were bad, especially when people had them out racing. I mean, you really could step it up with these things. Sky was the limit, as I was told. Look at this rear end and this paint job. You see that chrome right there, and the exhausts are both sticking out each side. So that's letting you know somebody took their time and been a little bit creative of what they wanted to do with the exhaust. I'll show you in a second. But you should be able to see one right here. Yep, hanging down. And the thing is, this paint job here is like a turquoise. So, I mean, it's lovely. But uh, let's take a good look on, let's look on a little bit more going down this fuselage. So this is a real nice car. And uh, let's see here. We're gonna take another look inside on the passenger side here. This thing is so beautiful, man. Look at those bucket seats. See that big old knob there for the stick shift? Always big, you know? And as we take a look back, you're looking at the dashboard. This thing is clean, man. You can't beat this. Very, very clean. And we're gonna take a look at the back end, the back bench. Pontiac signs all over the place. I do miss Pontiac commercials, built for excitement. And this thing definitely was back in the day, built for excitement. Let's take a dry, look at the driver's side. Guys, looking here on the driver's side, this thing is beautiful. This is a real nice restoration car. It got 120 on the dash. I'm gonna try to get in there a little bit so you guys get the full spec. I mean, you got it real nice. Key is in the uh, ignition. <laughs> and look at that, that's old school style. Key is all the way over there. The ignition is all the way over there on the driver's side near the window, near the door. I mean, you always used to the key being on the steering column and it's way the heck over there. That's old school, baby. You can't beat that. This thing has a really nice dashboard on here. I mean, the seats are immaculate. You see the big stick down there. As you're going back across, your RPM sitting right next there. Sitting over there on the side. And then there's a better look at it, your RPM and your speedometer. You know, the nice, pretty Pontiac sign right there on the middle of the hub of the steering column. Can't beat that, that was old school, man. That was old school. And that's just how the special these cars were back in the day. You know, looking at the driver's side seat, you had some nice room in this car too for it being a two door. You know, that was another special thing about these body styles. I mean, a big guy like me could just sit in the back and enjoy myself. If you had a shorter guy sitting up front driving, <laughs> you know, this thing is nice. You know, a real nice find here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. Give them a call if you like this car. All right, there's no information board on it, so check into it. All right, have a good one now.